Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some of the challenges of mastering the Thai language. And today I have Crew 2 with me. Crew means teacher, 2 is her name. And she is the owner and operator of Lana Language School here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And the school offers online classes with real ins Thai instructors and also in person in both group classes and you can also do a private class and you do offer the ED visa and helping with that whole process if you want to come to Thailand to learn the language. We're going to talk about some of the difficulties or some of the challenges that someone from Western countries will have when they try to learn the Thai language. So one of the challenges you might find with the Thai language is that it's a tonal language. How many tones are there in Thai? Five. Okay, so there's five tones in the Thai language. Now, she's gonna demonstrate in a moment one of the Thai words and the, how it sounds in each one of the five tones. And just know the meaning of the word changes each time she changes the tone. So can you give it, I think she's going to use the one my. Can you give us an example using that word five different ways? Okay. My, 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 my. So for us, we just, it just sounded like she was just uh, changing the word up just a little bit. We probably would never pick that up in a normal conversation. But each one of those means something different. Can you give us? It all sounded the same to most of us. Can you give us an example of what the definition, how it changed verse uh, uh, with each one of your tones? Not every tone that has the meaning, okay? Uh, my, tamai is why. My is no, like my gin. My put pasa thai. My is a question word, like hiu mai, are you hungry? My can be a question word also, but in the writing form. So your my could mean a question or it could mean that something's new. I think that's one of the definitions of one of them. So you really need to learn the tonal part of the language, which is hard to do if you're, let's say, learning by yourself online on one of those free platforms that you could find. And uh, you're going to have a hard time. You're going to think you got the tone right when you really didn't. So having a instructor that will listen to you and correct you is essential when you're learning Thai. Another thing that is going to be a challenge is going to be using sounds that you've never made before. There are some sounds I've been learning now for three years and there are some sounds that are just, pardon the pun, foreign to me uh, that I was saying. Can you give us some examples of what a few sounds that Westerners have trouble with? I think the hardest one is ngo ngu, it's ng sound. You know, a lot of my students say uh, not right, they say ng instead. Like the word ng, money, they say ng, ng. Or tham ngan, work to work, tham ngan, it's ng sound. And another one is ro rua, you have to roll your tongue. You know, some of students are struggling with that. Uh, like the word um, rong rian, which means school. It's supposed to be rong rian, but, but even Thai people don't roll our tongues like that. You know, we say le instead, like rong rian. So as you can see, there's a lot of nu nuances within Thai that you really need to learn. And you're going to think again that you're saying it correctly when you're not. It happened to me so many times. So again, Always having instructor is great. So another thing in Thai is that they don't use the sort of alphabet or anything that you're used to seeing, you know, the Roman characters. They have their own Thai script. It's a beautiful script and once you do learn it, you learn to love it. However, it is going to be very difficult for you to learn. As a matter of fact, when you're at the very beginning stages, a lot of what you're going to see online you're going to have someone in Thai who's trying to teach you and they change it into a phonetic spelling for you. So in other words, they can't use Thai script to teach you a new word if you can't read. So they're going to put it in Roman characters to try to sound it out. I can tell you from doing, taking your course, 
that learning to read and write Thai is paramount if you want to master this language. Because once I learned to read and write Thai, it made so much more sense. And I was able to pronounce things that I couldn't pronounce before because there's really no good way phonetically to make some of these sounds that I've never used before. So just keep that in mind when you're learning the Thai language. And your school definitely teaches reading and writing, is yes, that correct? I find that our students who learn reading and writing, they really enjoy writing the yes. Thai script, you know. Yes. And they're really good at it. Like a lot of students have better handwriting than, than me. So yeah, it's new thing and it can be fun. At first, I gotta say though, when you're learning the script, it's a little intimidating, but then you start getting used to it. The more you use it, you will see the differences between one character to another and you will really, I'm telling you, you can love the language and you're gonna really be able to identify Thai script anytime you see it anywhere and you'll know instantly that's the Thai language. So also in Thai they have no spacing in a sentence. So the dog and the cat were sleeping. You know each one of those words have a space between them but not in Thai. <laughs> can you talk about how people can overcome this and you know the challenges that westerners have with this type of thing uh, well this is another hard thing about learning thai you know everyone complained about it <laughs> but so after you learn reading and writing you know you know structure of it you will learn about the beginning consonants uh vowels and tone marks and uh final consonant you will know that uh, where's the word begin and end and if you keep practice reading it, you will get used to mm -hmm. and that is true when I was learning how to differentiate where the word ended in the next one once you learn to read you're like okay I know that 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 ver or, uh, excuse me that vowel went with these consonants and that made this word you can start pulling it apart it's just one of those things that repetition is going to help with and along with an instructor there to listen to you trying to read and stopping you when you're making the mistakes. So another problem with the Thai language as far as trying to learn it, let's say on your own, is that there's limited resources and a lot of what you're going to find on online, like the free stuff, it's going to be formal versus informal, which I didn't even know that was a thing. And I came to Thailand, you were my first teacher there and I'm like, you know, come in all cocky and ready to go that I know this, I know a bunch of words, only to find out from you that I learned the proper way, which is not the way that most Thais talk. Can you tell them about the difference between informal Thai and formal Thai? The opportunity to use uh, formal Thai is very rare, okay? You almost never have to use it. Like, I, I don't know who to use with. I remember you came to the class and you talk to me and I feel like I'm so special you know, because your language is very formal. Uh, I will recommend everyone who start to learn Thai to have the real Thai teacher with you and you can use the book and something else to practice. Mm -hmm. But you know, I find that the books or online classes that you find on the website is very formal. We don't really use that in our regular conversation. Mm -hmm. So use the real Thai teacher. Yeah, it can be very frustrating when you're trying to learn on your own and you're thinking you're making some headway only to find out that, for example, one of the words that I came over here saying was, uh, I, I even got it out of my memory again. What was the word I used for dog? Sunak. Sunak, that's right. Sunak, and she looked at me and she's like, uh, we don't say it that way. And we say it. Ma which is totally different, doesn't sound anything. So it's the same in English, it would have been saying, oh, you have a nice canine, instead of, oh, you have a nice dog. So dog, canine, I mean, yeah, it's still technically correct, but no one ever uses it. So there's one more thing that you need to be aware of, and this isn't just Thai specific. This is, if you're learning any other foreign language, is that the sentence, let's say the red car, okay, that's the structure of the sentence you have to restructure the sentence for most other languages. Like in Thai, the red car would be the car red. So when you're thinking about saying something in Thai, 
in your mind you're thinking the red car, then you got to transfer it, okay, in Thai that would be the car red, and then you need to transfer that into the actual language. So just know that in Thai and most languages, you're going to have to change the structure of the sentence. So again, if this is going to be the first foreign language that you're going to learn, that can be a little bit confusing. So all this being said, how can you learn Thai effectively? If you're wanting to get a head start to come here to Thailand, because this is easy whether you want to be on vacation or this is where you want to move to, my biggest recommendation is to learn from your home country, this is before you come here, online with a teacher. So if you want to learn, one recommendation I would have, of course, is Lana Language School. I can recommend it because that's where I went. And I'll have a link down in the description where you can click on that. You can find out just about anything you need to know or message you guys for more information. And if you do come here and you're wanting to learn at a school, obviously that's going to depend on what part of Thailand you're going to. Definitely check out some schools and figure out which teachers, which method, whatever works best for you. But having a teacher to help you instead of you learning by yourself is going to save you all kinds of frustration and it will keep you, it will prevent you from getting, let's say, burnout and going, you know what, just forget it. Because you're going to have a lot of fun with the right teacher when you learn this language. So thank you, Crew 2, for being here with us today. And we're going to, this isn't our first video together, so she knows how I'm going to end this. And that is by saying thank you in Thai, which is Kap Kun Kap.